Hello and welcome back to Diablo 3. So today it's three kill missions and two regular ones. I have changed up some of my build to be more focused on using rockets because the new passive I got actually increases the damage that rockets deal by 100% and gives me a passive chance to fire rockets that do 150% of my damage. My basic attack now will cause enemies to explode in bone shards if I land a critical hit. Which, granted, my critical chance is still pretty abysmal, but the, ch the times I do hit are going to hurt more. And I replaced my spider companion with a boar, who should hopefully increase my damage output well, I don't think he increases damage output, I believe he boosts my health. Which will be useful. And I believe resistances. And I found out today that a new season started, so I'm probably gonna do that. Not gonna do videos on it, mind you, because it's just... It's me trying to blitz through as much content as fast as possible and beat challenges. So it's this, but worse. Granted, if I do it quick enough, I will have my the reward, which is a dragon pet, like an Asian style dragon. So it's like a tube snake, essentially. Which, as I say that, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking, tube snake. It's not like snakes come in other sh shapes and sizes. Like, yeah, the octagon snake. The dodecahedron snake, yeah. That, I, I love when I'm an idiot. But yeah. If I run through that quick enough, that will be a thing. Otherwise, I guess you won't see the dragon pet pretty straightforward. Either you do or you don't. But I think overall this passive rocket launching will be useful. 20% chance to shoot a rocket at an enemy. I'm probably gonna have to go through my abilities and retool everything just to make sure it pans out, otherwise I'm gonna look stupid. But I, I think it's got potential. Because the rockets, I mean, it's free attacks at 150% my damage. Who can really say no to that? When I was waiting for a new season to start up, I was, I was excited. I enjoy them. As simple as they are, just, hey, kill this, kill that. Run through here, run through there. It's nice to have incentive to do it. And I'm running through with my Witch Doctor, so it's going to be easy mode. Which, honestly, like, Witch Doctors... You could be brain dead and still be able to play them. You just get zombies and sit behind them. But that's all I do. I sit behind them throw out haunt that's all I do I, I hold I have haunt tied to square and I just stand in a corner spamming square until everything dies it's the laziest play style but it's effective I wish there was something as effective for demon hunters but I think demon hunters are more focused on your entire build than can you spam one ability. God, how... They aren't even illusionists. There's just that many stupid special spiders. And this mission kind of sucks because I have to beat my way through everyone because otherwise if I get hit while destroying the cocoon it instantly shorts out on me. 
After the goblin. Oh my god, please don't run away. I am so tired of goblins just bouncing. I mean, it's money, which I don't care about, but it's the simple fact that... Yes, run back towards my turrets. God. Thank you. It's about to have a friggin' embolism. I think an embolism would be the right. I mean, I mean, an aneurysm would probably be the more accurate term, but yeah, because embolism I think is like a air pocket in your vein, which I mean, an air pocket in your vein would most likely kill you anyway. So either way, it works. Oh my God, you hussy! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Yes! Oh my god, another enemy. Knockback minions, yay. I need more hatred to do that. Oh, and he's freezing. Uh uh. Knockback horde frozen. Great. Also, why does knockback slow? Just throwing that out there. I, I kind of understand why, in the sense of, like, you would be stumbled if some dude just knocked you flat on your ass, but at the same time, why not just have slowing as an ability? Where their hits slow you, that would make sense. I mean, that's essentially hard CC. Well, not, not like soft CC, because it's not a hard CC like a stun. But, I mean, it would be consistent, so it would be almost perma-slow as long as they can hit you. Which range guys would perma-slow you. Oh, that was so close. I was hoping that crossbow would be better. Probably got a lower uh, attack speed. Actually, you know what? If that's what it is... Yeah, forget it. I'll... I'll eat the damage. Or the life regen loss. I would rather have the movement speed, or not movement speed, oh my god. The attack speed penalty in exchange for additional damage. Because that damage is damage. If I have to shoot less, then that's fine. My attacks can be a bit slower. Man, those rockets are actually really good. Hey, for once a person. Creepy naked man in the thing, but sure. Oh god, nightmare. That, that'd be hard CC, I think. No, eh. It's uncounterable, and you can't control it. Ah, oh, no, I, I'm... Brain shut off today. The magic... Well, the real question is, when isn't my brain shut off? I could probably switch out the reduced hatred cost for shooting homing rockets, which is tempting, because then, I mean, 100% more damage. Flat out, that's more killing this. That's never bad. Ooh, is that quiver good? Nah. Eh. I'll say no, because that's a damage penalty. Oh my god, four out of the five. How? I, I Usually my odds are three out of five are enemies. Two are, in my case, have always been creepy naked men who need saving. But this time it's just like, nah, no, no, you, you get to deal with five, uh, four out of the five being enemies. Crappy shoulder guard. We're actually gonna... Yeah, we're gonna do the homing rockets. It costs more, but... In the end, trading damage for that is fine. Do the stranger in need quick. Now, is this 
the one I'm thinking of? No. Yes. No. No, it isn't. Is, this might be the guy trapped in the... thing. More useless backstory about me. Which is essentially, he's a dumb hoe who is paranoid and killed his wife. There, I just summed up the entire arc behind the orc. And I'm not even playing with you. That, that's it. A dude named Lazarus was just like, yo, people are, like, betraying you. And he's just like, really? I couldn't tell. And then Lazarus is just like, yo, it's your wife. And just like, I can't believe it, that bitch. Dude. You, you married the woman. I think you'd be able to tell if she was lying to you. You just met this, like, creepy bearded dude on the, like, friggin' street, and you're just instantly like, this man knows what he's talking about. He knows what's up. No. You stupid weapons grade plum of a man. Oh, dank, better helmet. I am going the wrong direction. Not enough discipline. Let me free. I can't. I can't tell if it's actually. Yeah, guy in the Iron Maiden. But I can't tell if I'm actually doing more damage. I feel like I am, but it may just be because I'm shooting skeletons, and skeletons have about five hit points. Horror of the pit. The mosh pit. Honestly, that was a wasted... Uh, Opportunity they had. They could have made a mosh pit joke out of this guy, but they're just like, no. No obvious mosh pit joke. Instead, we're just gonna have him be the pit that's just a bunch of burning corpses. How bland is that? And this guy. This guy's a moron. Oh, yeah, he's looking for loot. And I, I don't know why, but I thought it might be in an Iron Maiden. Fool that I am, I believe them. Don't know why I thought it might be inside an Iron Maiden. All I could think of while I was trapped in that horrible. That kind of thought pattern no makes me think I should have left him in the Iron Maiden. Because you have to be pretty stupid to be like, hmm. I want treasure. Clearly, the treasure's not going to be in any room. It's going to be in a metal and wood coffin filled with giant ass spikes. Also, how did he hide in that? Now that I'm thinking about it, how do you hide inside an Iron Maiden and not get skewered? Th those things were made to impale. Now I'm really confused. Granted, I'm, I'm reading way too much into this. But that's me, the master of overanalyzing everything. You won't survive that. Thank god it's this area where... Unlike the Khazra from before, these guys actually just bundle up. Because zombies are slow and have to attack you in hordes. Except for Quill Fiends, who just... I, I don't get it. Do they launch the things out of their back, or do they rip them out? I think they just launch the Quills out of their back, which seems really painful. Once again, overanalyzing. Ta-da.
Alright, I'm leaving them. Don't care. Enemies, yay! I mean, they're hard enemies, so it's kind of annoying, but... Enemies nonetheless. Wow, that was a great spot for a portal. And if one is unable to tell, that was sarcasm. I feel like I, I should just bounce, but I've already started this fight and I want this guy's potential loot. Which honestly could be the sub- like, the bottom text of every episode, why this took a half hour instead of being, like, a 15 minute episode. Because I wanted the chance at loot. And I got crap. I think I'd learn. Do I? No. Never will. As smart as I am, I'm dumb as a sack of hammers. Hans. Skeleton? Yeah, skeleton. Or not. There are cultists in here. Now I'm questioning myself. Because I know a lot of these enemies practically by heart. That's what happens when you platinum this game. You play through it so many times you can just read every enemy. Royal Quarters. I hope this is the right direction. Yep. So skeleton. I was right. Hey, I didn't get some useless backstory. Oh, this is... I think the same guy from before. He was in the other room on a ledge where he just stood there and ate arrows like an idiot. Only this time he's being distracted by my boar. I was actually concerned because I didn't know if that boar was going to attack or not. I'm just going to turret. I actually forgot I had the homing rockets on the turret too. When I picked the passive that gave me the rocket damage, I'm like, did I remember to set that, or is it something else? And you want more? Yeah, I really need to slot that gem to give me the... Wait, is it a gem? No, it's a can ice cube. That gives me the passive. But then I lose Nagel Ring. You know, I'm gonna stick with Nagel Ring. Just because, while it'd be nice to make skeletons explode into more bones, the damage output is, I don't think, justified. Oh, hey, another guy. Morgan Lede, the. Oh, I think that's a. Ref a reference to Morgan Le Fay? Maybe? I don't know. It, it would make sense to me to make a reference to Arthurian legends, but then again, I'm an odd sort. I really just get rid of that death mark, because I keep forgetting it. But until I get the passive that gives me, or not passive, the activate toggleable ability, I'll think of a word eventually. Shouldn't have done that though. Until I think of, or get that ability that lets me turn into like the avatar of vengeance or whatever, then I'll be fine, because that ability is awesome. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's pretty fun to just bust that out and start shredding dudes. Keep moving. Or I can hit that. That's free kills. Okay, I'm killing these skeletons, because skeletons are easy money. I mean, I didn't get a ton of XP, but that was more than what I had, so... Too 
Hey, 25% more experience. I'll take that. I just had a random thought. It would be funny if one time during one of my videos, I replaced every time I said wow with Owen Wilson saying wow. I don't know why. I think it was because I saw the video of someone had replaced all the lightsaber sounds in episode one with Owen Wilson. And it fit too well. You know, to the point where it seems really strange that it would function so properly. Alright, distraction over. Run. Or flip away. Distraction is back. Sweet revenge. I should really try to blitz this so that I can get the XP bonus when I turn the bounty into Tyrio, but... Eh. Fire off a few quick shots. Alright, now we're at uh, the Butcher. Oh my god. I think I fought him last uh, thing. I should remember the Butcher. Honestly, he's such an easy boss that it's kind of sad. My hatred is too low. All right, get ready to charge. I mean, come on, he even comes in with the ability to stun himself. I don't think there's another boss in this game that's nice enough to stun himself for you. Okay, I took the damage but didn't get hooked. I guess because I was rolling. That's interesting. Yay! And better pants. Okay. I will accept that. I need to go back. Did I go up two or four levels? Eh, whatever. Levels are levels. And I got the wolf companion. And... Nothing special, but that's fine. That's all for today. So, if you like what I do on this channel, please make sure to hit the like button. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.